All right, Tony Tavares here, Classic Physique Pro. I am here with NPC News Online at the Republic of Texas Pro Show with physique competitor... Johnny Jimenez, a.k.a. Johnny Swole. Oh. Johnny Swole! Johnny Swole! All right, I, I actually, I saw Johnny walking up, and I was like, man, I know this guy from somewhere. Where did we meet, Johnny? Uh, we met in uh, the universe back in 2019. He won the overall champ. I think I got like fourth, third place. Uh, well, different div division class, obviously, but in classic physique. But yeah. his physique, whew. Yeah. All, I still, all, to this day, I still remember. All good. All, all good. But the reason why I asked that is because you were in classic. I remember you were in classic when I met you. And so you actually did North Americans, what was it, two years ago. And tell us about that. You did a couple of divisions, and you made the switch. Yeah, so I actually just turned uh, – Pro in uh, the universe. Uh, sorry, North Americans last year. Okay. And I ended up doing the three divisions, all three of them: light heavyweight bodybuilding, classic physique B, and men's physique. That's rare. Class B, yeah. So it was like six weeks before the show. I told my coach, uh, Ryan Benson from Zero Gravity, okay. I'm like, "Yo, what if we do all three divisions?" He's like, uh, "I don't know. I'm kind of used to, you know, see you seen in classic physique." I was like, "Yeah, well, me too. I love classic <laughs> physique, you know, but I'm so desperate to turn pro." Yeah. You know, because we've been trying for three years. We did, like, all your national shows you could think of. And, uh, yeah, man, so I got that – that day was September 4th, Classic Physique B and Men's Physique B. I got fifth in Classic and first in Men's Physique. So that. I was like, hadn't I been doing this three man. years ago? I would have been pro, but – I found a new spot, a new home. Vision. Yeah, so I did. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a journey. It's yeah. been awesome. This is my sixth show this year okay. so far. I'm not planning on stopping unless my body tells me, hey, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I keep doing shows. I keep improving, yeah, good. Uh, getting good feedback. I'm not being told that I got to add on size. It's more just conditioning, coming a little harder. But other than that, the men's physique division grew on me. I didn't think that I would find it this you know, passionately loving mm -hmm. because bodybuilding in general is bodybuilding. Physique, classic light heavyweight bodybuilding to me was all beautiful art creation of the human body mm -hmm. and i think it's how you display it on stage to be honest and like with you man i see your pictures and i'm just like dude this this is art right there you know what i mean so appreciate we can appreciate some art and, and folks that really take in consideration of the the art of the physique yeah. whether it's men's physique pro classic physique open bodybuilding it's all a beautiful creation all itself and i fell in love with the men's physique division but don't get me wrong i still love classic yeah. Eventually, I will go back to classic, and I'll probably maybe go against you. Oh, let's go. Let's you know, go. but it's all love and camaraderie, all brotherhood. Down. You know, I, what is the what is the biggest challenge going from classic to physique? The poses. Yeah. The poses. I thought so. <laughs> the, the time on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> so when I was in classic physique, I was used to doing about six poses. Mm -hmm. You know, your front double, rear double, yeah. side chest, favorite classic, abs and thigh. And then my 60 second routine when I made the you know top five in the national show. And uh, now it's kind of just a 45 second to about a minute, maybe two if you add a little hot sauce to the mustard to the hot dog, you know? But yeah, it's been the posing that I, I ultimately miss in classic physique. But again, men's physique, I'm learning the posing itself, yeah. how to present it, at least with my physique, because every physique on stage is different. Yeah. Uh, it's just based off what pose works for you. And like, as you know, I'm sure everybody does that bodybuilding is showing your best parts and, yeah. you know, hiding your weak flaws, yeah, you know? Absolutely. So uh, having to find those niches in my physique yeah. and having to make the improvements the judges want from okay. the based off the feedbacks, okay. that's why I'm still going, you know yeah. what I mean? So I've been pretty much competing since Pittsburgh Pro this okay. year. I did, I did Pittsburgh Pro, then I did New York Pro, I did Louisiana, and then Denver, we landed our first top five. Okay. Uh, and then it did Sacramento, and then now we're here. That's a lot of shows, right? That's a gauntlet right and there. I mean, you another, running it. I got another one next week. All I'm right. So so what is the what is the ultimate goal this year? You've already done almost yeah, six shows. Yeah, I want to qualify at Olympia, and uh, my, my chances are getting a little slim to none. But I'm just, you know, taking with, with every run, with every show, and learning from it, meeting new, new guys, you know, and um, getting the feedback from the judges. Like I said, uh, the growing phase, they, they say I have a great structure. They say I have a great shape. It's just basically just coming in harder. Okay. And that's been one of my basically not challenges, but unfortunately my physique doesn't just get as hard. I'm like, man. Yeah. So I just, I guess I got to keep doing shows yeah. until I get that peak right, you know? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Last question. What would you say is your 
number one strength? Walking into a show tomorrow, you, you must know you talked about your best features. What would you say is your number one strength walking into a show that you're really wanting to showcase to get the judges' eyes on you as soon as you step on that stage? I'd want to say my back, man. Okay. Having to be in classic, I think um, the lat spreading, I actually implement a lat spread in my pose. I go here, I do a lat spread, and then boom, right? Okay. That's how I hit into my back pose. I want to say my back pose is a strong pose. Uh, I think the core, my, my abdomen is pretty genetically uh, sculpted a certain way yeah. that I think it's pretty unique. Yeah. I just got to make sure my, I come in pretty full but hard and conditioned and make sure that my chest comes in full. Okay. So I think, you know, the back definitely will be... Okay. We'll be a, rec a force to be reckoned with okay. tomorrow. Awesome. Well, yes, we, we look forward to seeing it tomorrow, man. I look forward to watching you. Kill it on that stage. Walk out there with confidence and show out. You got it, Tom. All right. Yes, sir. You, yes, sir.